Greetings, Ian from RTO. Um, back for another edition of Retro Ranking. Let me look at some singles of some of the iconic bands from the last 50, 60 years. Um, and today we are going to be looking at British pop and rock band The Hollies. In our house, The Hollies were played a lot. Uh, my dad is a really big fan of the Hollies, so it's all, I'll listen to it. And the other thing is the lead singer Alan Clark, when he retired, he resided in one of the villages in, in between Northampton and Milton Keynes. And he was frequently seen in the oddest of places in Northampton. And the thing is, no one ever bothered him. I mean, I've seen him in a pub uh, at lunchtime. Popped in for a pint myself. And there sitting in the corner reading his newspaper was Alan Clark. Because someone said, oh, you know who that is? I went, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, we used to see Alan Clark a lot in Northampton. Um, so... They were formed in 1962, and between 1960 and the mid-70s, they had a big set of hits. Um, the band was fa founded by Alan Clark and Graham Nash um, as part of that Mersey beat type style music group in Manchester. A lot of them come from uh, further north in East Lancashire. Then Graham Nash left the group in 1968 to form Crosby, Steele and Nash, of course. They enjoyed a very good uh, popularity in many countries. 60 singles and EPs, 26 albums. Um, but they didn't achieve any a major st a success in America till 1966. Um, they've had lots of people in the band. Um, they're still going today. The only two members of the band that are from the original band are Tony Hicks and the lead guitarist and Bobby Elliott. But the and the lineup what we really knew was with Alan Clark, Graham Nash, Eric Haydock, and then when Eric Haydock left, it was Bernie Clavert. Um, so I've picked my top ten songs by the Hollies. So let's have a look. Coming in at number 10 then, go to 1968. A song that got to number 11 in the UK charts, 129 in the United States, Listen To Me. No intros on this, bang straight into the song. <laughs> uh, I do like Alan's vocal on this, and I like some of the little keyboard bits in it as well. It's a pretty good track. Listen to it quite a lot. Uh, and I like that one very, very much. Coming in at number nine, then we go to 1965. Got to number one here in the UK and uh, 103 in America. I'm alive. What I like about this song, it's fast as anything else that they've done. Nice harmonies on this one. Um, this is just an upbeat tune. I don't really like that. Okay, coming in at number eight, we go to number a song that got to number seven in 1968 and number 40 in the USA. It's the lovely little Jennifer Records. It's one of them Holly songs that once you hear it, you can't get that tune out of your head. I like how they create the wolf whistles on this. It's very fun. Um, just, get the, just thinking about it again, it's when it now I'm thinking of the tune in my head. Couldn't leave that one out. Okay, coming in at number seven, we go to 1967. Number three in the UK, number nine in the USA, and it's Carrie Ann. I like the harmonies in this. But what makes this song a little bit special? That you've got the nice tune going along. And then Alan sings it in a different in a different place that shouldn't be shouldn't sound right, but it does. It's a very very good track. 
Okay then, coming in at number six, go to 1964 now, got to number two in the UK, number 98 in the USA, Just One Look, classic song from the Hollies. I like that, what I call that plinky plunky guitar in it, steady drums, fantastic track. Okay, coming in at number five, go to 1966, got to number five, both sides of the Atlantic, it's a brilliant bus stop. Great track. Written, of course, by Graham Goldman of 10CC. And he really knows how to write pop tunes. Uh, this is an excellent track. One of my favourites. I love the lyrics. Great harmonies in this. Typical Hollies. Brilliant stuff. Okay, coming in at number four, we go to 1964. Uh, got to number seven, we're through. What I like about this is Eric Haydock's bass line all the way through that. Boom, 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 all the way through. Great track. Nice harmonies again on that one. One of them iconic sounds that you do not forget. Okay, coming in at number three. Go back to 1966. Got to number two here in the UK. Number 42 in the USA. I can't let go. Great Graham Nash guitar work. This is pretty brilliant. Um, harmonies as good as ever. They were so good at harmonies. The Hollies. Great track. Excuse me. Okay, coming in at number two. Then one of my favourite rockers from. Uh, the Hollies got to number 32 in the UK but got we got to num number two in the USA did more work in the USA and it's long cool woman in a black dress that opening guitar riff yeah. dun, dun. great stuff fantastic track one of my favorite rockers okay then my number one now it's the reason it's Number one for me, I remember this coming out, and obviously, Dad went and brought it, so he got played to death in our house. And it's the air that I breathe. Number two in the charts in 1974, and number six in the USA. I love how this song starts with that great guitar riff, but again, what adds to this is that the harmonies in the chorus uh, and then you get the big band sound uh, firm favourite in our house and it still reminds one, remains one of the best songs by the Hollies in my mind um, I like this a lot ok then well that's the top 10 I have got some honourable mentions as ever and the first one it's from 1969, number three, UK, seven, USA. He ain't heavy, he's my brother. Okay, everyone, everyone likes this. Oh, they say, oh, that's the best thing. In my eyes, it isn't. It's a classic song, don't get me wrong. It is a classic. But it gets played all the time. And what has ruined it for me is when people try and sing it at karaoke. They ruin it. And everyone else covers this. They do versions of it. And I'm going to be quite honest. There's only one good version. Ah, this version. Although it's not one of my favourites. It's still a good song. And what I think it's not in my top ten. Because other people have ruined the experience for me. Um, so that's why it, it didn't make my top 10. Another song that just missed out from 1969, number 3 in the UK, 56 in the USA, is Sorry Suzanne. Quirky, one of them quirky Holly songs with a catchy hook, nice vocals, superb sort of stuff. And my last one today. It's from 1964, uh, got to number four in the UK, number seven in the USA, here I go again. 
I like the guitar work here, especially Eric's bass line. You get all of this it goes thing, and every bit at the beginning of the score chorus, you get that dump, dump, dump on the bass. Um, look, great song. Just missed out on my top ten. Okay, um, that's all for this week's retro ranking. Um, some some guys of uh, one of the guys regularly contributes to so give me some ideas for some retro ranking um, yes I'm going to be doing them very shortly um, they're easier to do for requests because it, it doesn't take much to put together a retro ranking um, I'll be back tomorrow hoping feeling 100% instead of 80% to start a, a special two-parter on a marathon Wednesday looking at Hawkwind so tomorrow we'll be looking at out because there's 34 studio albums tomorrow we'll be concentrating going up from number 34 to number 18 um, so looking forward to that I'll see you tomorrow for that take care for now everyone